Hello friends, my name is Ram and in this demonstration I'm going to demonstrate how to install Oracle RESTful data services through SQL Developer on CentOS 7. What I have is my entire setup is I have RHEL 7, I have installed Oracle 12C on this and I've configured PDB1 pluggable database and this is going to be a standalone installation example of ORDS first thing is by default if you have SQL developer installed it might have happened that you have installed it as root user if that is the case you go to this directory slash opt because it is installed in opt folder ls l and you take a look at that what you will find is this directory is owned by root user and this directory is also owned by root user so change the ownership to oracle and o install if this is not the case you may have that you know sql developer available under or installation home that is oracle home under this folder also you may have SQL developer if you have not installed it separately in my case I have installed it separately so you can see here I have SQL developer installed here also but if you notice I don't have uh, ORDS folder under this SQL developer so that means this is this comes with the Oracle 12c and ORDS is not a part of it when I installed it but however I remember I installed a SQL developer separately and in that case I have this folder slash opt under this I have a SQL developer and under this I have ORDS also so let me change to directory slash opt slash SQL developer and under that we have ORDS under this folder that is Oracle RESTful data services uh, this directory is created because I installed oh, earlier also so I'm going to remove it I'm going to talk about the cleaning how to clean it up so let's start SQL developer to clean to uninstall first and remove the configuration file and then do the installation again so this is Oracle SQL developer 19.1 and this example is a standalone example standalone installation of uh, Oracle RESTful data services so here we are so we can see that uh, PDB1 is there HR schema is there so we have all these settings we can get these kind of errors but that's not a problem I can run it again that should not be the issue and even if it fails uh, sometimes Java related error comes and it fails to start that's fine but it's not fail always let's take a look at once again I'm starting it okay now it is started let's wait to settle down the welcome page appeared yes now it is fine sometimes it crashes, so it's just okay that's a testing machine I'm okay with it let's first this task should finish good now we go to tools under that we have Oracle data services rest data services and I'm going to uninstall it so use SQL uh, you know Oracle REST data services which is included in SQL developer and that's what absolutely what I'm going to do so my localhost and PDB1 is where it is installed service name and the password is Oracle which I specified so I'm just in uninstalling it and finish so it will uninstall the existing ORDS Oracle RESTful data services and I'll get my system clean and only thing is that I have to take care I have to remove the directory physically the configuration directory if it is not removed so it is uninstalling 
and uh, once it is uninstalled I will remove the directory also physically we're just uninstalling it yes done uninstall complete now we can go and take a look at the directory if it is not removed we are going to remove that because sometimes that create problem so uh, let's do that in fact we can close the SQL developer now if it is inst uninstalled and let's go to the directory opt slash SQL developer and ORDS the configuration directory is not removed so it will conflict uh, while uh, doing new installation so let's remove it rm hyphen rf ORDS config and it's removed now we can do the installation again alright so here we are going to install this and this is the main file actually uh, this is Oracle RESTful data services war file we need to install it we can do command line also but that is a separate topic we'll do command line installation also but uh, right now what we are doing is we are doing it through SQL developer so you can start SQL developer from applications also if you have installed it as an independent software and that's what I have done precisely if you notice that So Oracle SQL developer starting now hope it is started yep it should not crash let's wait for a few seconds till it comes yes all tasks finished let's start now so it is quite simple straightforward process let's go to tools rest data services and click on install use Oracle REST data services that is included in SQL developer and this is a path where you can keep the configuration file and this is a folder which should not exist if it is exists it should be empty so even if it is, does not exist it will give a warning and it will create it so let's create the folder and this is what we are creating uh, for standalone installation so localhost port number 1521 service name is pdb1 and uh, password for this public user oracle skip verify initially I am not going to skip it so let's continue now password again so this is a temporary table space default table space let's keep them as the default table space whatever is alright so default table space let's keep default table space as users we can change them if we want so default table space users temporary table space temp and this is for table spaces that is for public user same way default table space for uh, public user we can select that for uh, this also right so oracle data services schema does not exist so we are going to create the schema so uh, these are the table spaces you can keep the default one also uh, I have changed it for the first time we are not going to use PLSQL that is a separate topic so I'll explain it separately so I'm skipping this I'm not using PLSQL gateway I'm skipping this and here it is on which port you want to run it I want to run it on 9090 port right and the resource the URL will be ORDS and these are the two users I'm creating username for admin user is ORDS underscore admin password and this is a developer user that is ORDS underscore DEVEL or you can keep any user whatever you want Oracle so password require socket secure socket layer I don't want SSL so I'm, I want to keep it simple and finish so it will do the installation and you can see the installation now uh, installation will start and you can see the logs here so let's finish it yeah here the logs are visible and installing it right now So it is working on it once it is installed it's still working created Oracle REST data services granted privileges and it's that straightforward that easy uh, installation and once it started we can see the process list also and uh, under that process will be running created Oracle data services we'll see the message completed 
so let's wait for a few more seconds it not take it does not take much time log file still working completed now you can see the under processes you click processes and you see the process running here let me start yeah here it is this is the process it is running and I can see the process list alright now to verify the services I can go to view and the processes and same thing you can see here also and here also I can see Oracle data services administration right I can take a look at administration and this will start right click on it and connect I can provide the username and password which I specified oracle underscore admin ORDS underscore admin and password which I specified oracle now it is connected let me in maximize it so here I'm connected so you can see the different settings so ORDS administration so you can see the global settings default password security settings now Oracle data services Oracle RESPO data services are installed on my standalone server which is Oracle 12C right and this is how we can do the installation so installation part is now complete and that's all about the uh, this session where I have done the successful uninstallation of existing ORDS and installed a fresh ORDS on this another next step would be uh, that how to enable the data services on a schema and a database that is a complete database and the individual uh, tables that we will see in the next session alright that's all for this session thank you so much bye bye